what is going on guys so I hope all of y'all are having a fantastic day um, if you are not interested in this video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk a little bit about this channel so if you're not interested in that you can go ahead and click off here now um, but if you kind of want to hear what I'm talking about for the future of this channel my feelings of the reason why I make these videos and you guys can stick around for that So um, I've been thinking about this for a little while now, um, making a video talking about really why I make these videos because I haven't made one since the first video I've uploaded since I was back from AIT and basic training um, and I talked about why I really want to make these videos. But I've gotten a whole lot of new subscribers um, since then, I've like well over doubled. And um, a lot of you guys you know, ask me a lot of questions and stuff like that and I just really want to you know explain the future of this channel kind of the things that I want to do and accomplish in the future kind of the the real overall goal of why I'm making these videos um, and so that's kind of what I want to cover right now so it all started um, roughly about three years ago whenever I first wanted to join the army and I was looking up stuff on the on YouTube on the internet and I was just looking up as much stuff as possible and there really wasn't that much out there you know there was a few things on YouTube most of it was just like you know documentary stuff um, you know made by the army you know what's basic training like you guys have probably already seen it if you're looking at my channel um, but yeah there was basically just that stuff so if you look at the videos that are over three years old there's really not that many of them that's kind of all I had to go on um, recently there's been a little bit more um, one of my channels I think is I think personally it's growing pretty fast as far as uh, talking about basic training because the reason I made this was to help out you guys who are like me whenever I joined and I wanted to you know f learn and understand what I was gonna do what basic training was like I wanted to understand the whole military experience that I was about to go into because it was so different um, you know my father was only in the Navy for a little bit and besides that my grandfather was in the Navy um, you know like freaking 60 years ago so that was a long time from now so I didn't really have anybody to tell me what the military was like right now and that's what I wanted to make for you guys so a couple years ago about two um, two years ago or so I made a video talking about my MEPS and recruiting experience so I wanted to follow all the way through so I talked about what MEPS was like. If you guys haven't seen that, if you guys want to know what MEPS is like, because it's pretty much the same now as it was then, um, I will try and link up videos during um, this video. So probably cards up here, I think, um, and or maybe in the description. So you can check the description, check the cards whenever I post them. But I made a video talking about MEPS and the whole recruiting process and what that was like for me. And then I went to a drill, because I'm in the Army Reserves, I went to a drill before basic training and I talked about what that was like before basic training because this was something that was huge for me and something I was really trying to look into and I was like, you know, I'm about to go to drill. I'm like, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm in the Army yet. I know they say whenever you swear in in the Army Reserves, you're actually in the military whenever you swear in. If you guys didn't know, and the Army Reserves, it's like that active duty, you're not necessarily in until you leave for base training. Army Reserves is a little bit different. So I was looking up stuff. I was like, what is drill like before basic training? I had no clue. I'm like, do I get a uniform? Do I get all this stuff? I'm like, I have no clue. Um, and so I wanted to make a video talking about that. So that's one of my most viewed videos, or that is, I think my most viewed video I, has, I have as of now, the next one that's coming up on it that's definitely going to pass as soon as the only way to fill basic training i made a video talking about that so yeah i started off this channel talking about the army and my initial experience and my plan was to go through basic training go through ait and then you know write down my experiences on paper you know like what i've learned what i did day by day and then once i finished ait i planned on making videos you know initially right after that talking about my whole experience while it was still fresh in my mind but in case you didn't know I didn't quite do that I waited a little bit longer than I had initially planned I waited initially I mean it was a little bit it was about a year or so after I came back from AIT is whenever I actually posted my first video back in April of this year 2017 if you're watching from the future 2018 hey uh, but yeah so I posted that video and I honestly didn't even look at my YouTube channel and 
seen and saw that that video that I talked about what drills like before base training had so many views and I was like holy crap so rewinding a little bit I saw that this video had you know like 17,000 views on it I was like this is insane there's obviously a lot more people out there that I than I thought that you know here that want to you know figure out what things are gonna be like I thought I was in the minority but there's a lot of you guys out there then I made a video talking about basic training day one and that whole process it was like day one through 17 or you know, that whole video talking about the red phase and that video's got a lot of views right now and so that was kind of crazy so I initially once I came back um, I wasn't gonna make a video for a while it took me a year and then I had decided that I was really only gonna make videos talking about basic training red phase white phase blue phase AIT and that's pretty much where I was going to cut it off and I didn't really see any kind of views or really many people being interested in it so I was like okay I'll just do this I'll throw it up you know if there's you know a hundred people who want to you know see it you know figure out what basic training is going to be like you know then that's awesome that's more than I expected it to happen um, but you guys have well gone above and beyond my expectations on how this was gonna go in my mind. I did not think it was gonna go like this. I did not think I was gonna gain, you know, 2,000 subscribers in two months. Um, I mean, it's it's blowing my mind. The amount of views that I'm getting is going crazy. Um, I just expected like less than 100 views pretty much every video, and I would've been fine with that because to me, you know, 100 people watching a video is a lot. It's a lot more than a lot of people have a lot of people like work really hard to get so I'm really grateful for that um, but you guys have just impressed me so fast forwarding on to right now and from this present moment on to the future like what am I gonna be doing um, the the real purpose for this channel is I don't want to get into too much of the nitty-gritty details I don't wanna you know get caught up in too many um, questions that are really detailed because that's not really the purpose for this channel it's my real purpose of why I created this channel was to talk about my experience uh, my point of view because the real big thing here guys is whenever you go into the military there's a freaking million people in total right everybody's experience is gonna be somewhat different because a huge part of your military experience is gonna be related on the people that you interact with you know is your NCO gonna be a good NCO are you gonna have a good first sergeant are you gonna have a good uh, company commander are you gonna have a good squad leader you can have like really good basic training drill sergeants who actually want to help you guys out or are they just you know pissed off all the time or they don't do anything to help you so everything is kind of um, it just varies and it kind of depends and I wanted to give my experience on what it was like and so what I try to do is in these videos I'm trying I'm not trying to lay down like concrete this is what the army is going to be like this is how it's going to be I'm just trying to share with you guys my experiences, how it's been so far for me. Um, the last video I made talking about the brotherhood and camaraderie of the military, that is my experience. And I made that video because it seems to be um, an almost mostly shared opinion throughout the army. And so that's why I made that video. So I don't want to talk about things that are, are not what you're going to come across in your future. And as I've made these videos, it's kind of evolved a little bit more and more into questions and me answering these questions which I love doing I, like the fact that I have so many questions I have more comments on my videos than I thought I would ever have views which is ridiculous so that's awesome so in the future all of you guys just leave as many comments as you want down below what I do is I go through on YouTube on like the community section of the creator studio and I can just you know look down the list of all the comments on all the videos I've gotten so it doesn't have to be the most recent video for me to see that you left a comment so if I miss a video or I miss a, a comment that I think rarely happens to somebody actually asking a question um, but I definitely do my best and that's something that I really enjoy doing doing is helping you guys out so if you're worried about something there's any questions you have that's what I want to do right so that's kind of what I think this channel is kind of going to go towards not just a big Q&A um, what I would like to do in the future is maybe do one Q&A video like I did a couple weeks ago maybe every other week maybe once a month something like that but I would like to do that where what I do is you know I'll take some of your guys comments out of the comment section of my videos that maybe not everybody has seen 
and then turn that into a video topic idea and then talk about that. So I've done that a few times, but I would like to do that a little bit more on a more regular basis. Now, as far as my upload schedule, um, my life is pretty hectic right now. So I work sometimes at home, I work sometimes in the office. I have essentially multiple different, not necessarily jobs, but career paths I'm trying to go. And now this YouTube thing is just on top of that. And really what I'm doing is I have my normal life that I'm going about. I'm not really changing much for YouTube. Um, and I'm really just fitting it in into my spare time as of right now. And the way that's looking is I'm uploading videos usually on a Monday, a Wednesday, and maybe a Friday and a Saturday. So the goal honestly for me is to do three to four videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, or if I'm feeling good, you know, Friday and Saturday, if not more. So that's kind of how it's looking for me. So in the future, you guys can definitely expect at least a minimum of three videos a week unless I leave somewhere for training or something and then I just drop it down to one or two videos a week. And finally, one of the, the big underlying reasons of why I make these videos in general and something now that um, I've kind of accumulated um, some interest, people that have like an interest in my career. So it's not a lot of people have asked me like, what are my goals? In the military so once I like now that I kind of have that for myself not even necessarily for you guys for myself to look back in the future I kind of want to just like document my process through the military so if you guys didn't know I started out as a private first class which is an e3 I then got promoted to an e4 I then got promoted to a cadet um, so I transferred over to a cadet now I'm about to be a second lieutenant so I'll be an officer and I, continue, I, I plan on continuing to make him videos through that whole process. Um, and then even going up to first lieutenant and then captain. I plan on being captain in five years. So I'm not saying I'm going to be making videos for five years because that's a long time from now. But I think there will definitely be some videos you know, put up you know, years from now because I want to document this whole experience. I think that would be really cool to be documenting the experience from a PFC of before I even joined the military all the way up to I'm a captain now. Um, so that that's something that I think would be really cool. Something cool for me personally, just to look back at. Just like I look back sometimes on my really old Call of Duty videos that I used to make like back when I was like 17 years old. Um, now currently 24 uh, years old. So that was a long time ago. It's kind of fun looking back at stuff. that stuff. So I think it would be pretty cool looking back at this and my experiences. Maybe some opinions and stuff will change in the future but I think that's really cool to look at now um, or look at in the future back on now so if any of you guys have stuck around to the end of this video it's probably been a little bit of me just you know talking about this channel so if you're still here you know you guys are awesome um, but yeah so if, if there's anything you guys take away from the future of what I want to do with this channel it is that I'm going to share my experiences with you guys and if in the future with like you know my brother I've talked about I've talked with him you guys have seen videos of him talking about 13 Fox School, Airborne School, and his experience at basic training at Fort Jackson. If I can get other people um, in on these videos talking about their experiences, their MOS, maybe talking about the Marines, the Coast Guard, the Navy, the Air Force, if I can get people talking about that, then I will do that. But I really want to try and stay away from talking too much about a branch or an MOS or certain areas in the military that I haven't personally been um, involved with because the military is huge it's so different um, across the board like there's just like so many different things that could happen in your military career so if I were to say you know my brother's a 13 Fox right so what I wouldn't want to do is talk about that MOS as if I know about it right so I don't want to just read up stuff on the internet and then make a video talking about something that I really don't know what I'm talking about so I really want to stick to the things that I know um, I don't want to go too much into the factual details of certain things because that's where a lot of people are like, you know, push back or no, it's this way, no, it's this way, no, it's this way because maybe their experience was different because there are a lot of prior service people that watch this video, which props to all you guys. I had somebody comment on my video who was in the military in the army like 50 years ago, 50 years ago, watching one of my videos and that just freaking blows my mind so that's I mean this is awesome so I want to try and make sure I get things factually correct and if it's not factually correct I just want to talk about my experience and what happened right so if somebody says this happened and I experienced something differently 
then I just want to talk about what happened to me. So that's it for this video. If you guys noticed, um, I put my Snapchat and Instagram in the description. It was just on my regular channel page, but I've now put that in the description of all of my videos. So if you want to hit me up on Snapchat or Instagram, I don't necessarily post like every day, but if you're on there all the time and you want to send me a question on there rather than YouTube, feel free to do that. It's happened before. People are sending me some questions. People are adding me, so that's really cool. But if you want to you know, add me on Instagram, feel free. If you want to add me on Snapchat, feel free. If you want to send me a message on any of those, these platforms, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, feel free to do that. Like this video, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Drop.